Welcome to Off The Ball English, my name's Darren Gibb and I've recently been fortunate enough to sit down with a professional footballer called Thomas Jewell Nielsen. Thomas is a Danish professional footballer and he's played for a few clubs around the world in his time. He's played in Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Israel, the USA and Romania. So obviously English has been really important as he's been moving around, especially in the latter stages of his career. We sat down and spoke about the importance of being able to speak English with regards to communicating with your teammates and coaches, the media and your social media as well. I'll be posting different parts of the interviews in the coming weeks, but for now we're going to look at why he feels English is important to learn as a footballer. Enjoy. So Thomas, tell me, how important do you think it is to be able to speak the language of the country that you're playing football in? For example, how's your Romanian? You're living in Romania. How much Romanian have you learned? It'll, it'll definitely be easier. I mean, I learned all the phrases I need to on, on the field and like to, you know, go in the city on a restaurant and know, you know, know how to speak. And then it's, it's 100% easier. Also, like if, if the club can see that, that you're actually actively trying to, to, to speak the language, like they will feel that you're like, you're doing everything to adapt and they will probably appreciate you more. Uh, and instead of like, okay, this player is just like coming here to take some money and play and then he leave. No, but if, if you're actually really trying to, speak the language and, and, and meet them where they're at, they will, they will probably feel a lot more appreciation for you and then probably help you even more. Uh, in yeah. Football. Um, I played with a, a player from from Holland in, in Sonyuske and he, he does interviews now in, 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 in Danish, you know, and it's like fluently Danish and it's like he's from Holland. It's like two different languages. You no, know? it's like yeah. it's so impressive. It's so impressive. It just shows that, okay, you're here to to really be great and and uh, become a great football player, but also like be a great person for everybody. And, and for me, like it shows you you really really want it. Interesting. So you say that a lot of the tactics in Israel were given in Hebrew instead of English. So I wonder if let's say that you're two zero down at half time, and the manager or the coach is giving you lots of instructions in a different language. How difficult is it to be able to go out onto the pitch for the second half and carry them out? For example, if you've not fully understood what the coach was saying. I recognize what you're saying uh, about like that. You, you get these um, insecurity feelings or like you, when you don't feel certain about what's going on and like let's say like a halftime team talk like okay the, the heat is on and we have only a few minutes to discuss okay how we do the, the rest of the game etc and if, like, if you're not like if, then if you don't really get it and like you take this this feeling into the pitch like oh, what was like the details in this talk what, what was uh, like and then you get insecure instead of just like focusing on the game um so that's uh, very very important to feel this confidence um, uh, in, in, in what you, I mean, you're confident when you appreciate your own qualities and abilities. But if you don't have the qualities to know what's going on, then you, it's, it's harder to be confident. And, and confidence is, is crucial as a football player. Very interesting. So, Thomas, tell me, how important do you think it is to be prepared before moving to a new country to play football? And by prepared, I mean with language being able to communicate with your coaches and teammates, being able to develop as you would, being able to deal with the media, your social media, everything like this. How important, in your opinion, is it that you learn the language before you make the move to your new country? I, 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 I mean, that's, sometimes you say it takes six months for a player to adapt. And, <laughs> In football, six months is like a century. Like you're, then you're <laughs> behind, my friend. You know, you're it's too late. You know, you're out of the door again. You know, so so <laughs> football is moving so quickly these days. You know, and, and you have to perform, and we get judged instantly. You know, we get judged every weekend, and then like people 
and coaches are so much under pressure. So they will do what's best for them. And if you have a player who's not like, who's insecure with all these stuff, like with the tactics, the language and, and all this stuff, he needs time, then he will just, he will be benched out of the squad. Like he will not be in the lineup uh, as a, as a yeah. trustworthy person, you know? Uh, it's, it's such... It's a game where there's jobs on the on the roll and, and people are under pressure. So so you need to take care of yourself and, and strengthen your 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 position in, in the country, in the team, everything. So as you talked about um, with, with the first impression. So <laughs> if you can do all of this homework before you come, tactics, language, the culture, how does how is the leadership in this country, you you and make this good first impression and then there will be more room for mistakes or whatever after you know if you make a good impression mm. at first but then and then two three games in you have a bad game okay it's okay this guy's he's, he's good like it's okay because the first impression was good so there will be more space to to fall into some mistakes after so 100 if you could do your homework before you have the first impression um probably much better that's really interesting, Thomas. So you're saying that if you're not able to speak the language, when you transfer to that new club, everything is going to be difficult, but you're not going to be given very much time with which to prove yourself and show yourself. So that's really interesting. It's a case of doing the homework before you arrive in your new country so that you're able to focus entirely on the football. Very interesting. How important do you think it is to be able to speak and communicate in English with regards to the football world? In the world of football, how important is it, do you think, to be able to speak English confidently and clearly? English is the, is the biggest language in the world. I mean, if you know English, you, you're, you're kind of well set, you know? So, and English is like, is my a language um, and and so so I like wherever I go there will be some people speaking English you know so so I will I will have this advantage, advantage to, to go pretty much anywhere because my English is, is decent um, it's more than decent my friend you're putting yourself down it's more than decent honestly <laughs> um, I, think it, uh, I think it's super important English is have to know, have to know. And finally, a footballer's career, unless you're Gigi Buffon, usually lasts until the age of 35, perhaps even through to 40. By the top level, apart from Buffon, perhaps, you know, 35. So footballers need to think about a life after football. For example, like I played in these countries and, and uh, I know the language so well. So like after my career, let's say like if I was... Uh, seeing my life in let's say America like maybe I could speak with the guys in America and they would maybe have a job for me and position for me something you know because like okay this guy is, 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 is perfect in English and he can work for us and he can help us you know and, uh, and you make connections much easier uh, when, when you know the English language like wherever you go and you can have opportunities after your career you build a network of, of connections and then I mean then you stay in touch with certain people and they can, can maybe create opportunities for you after your career uh, and you meet players and, and then you bond in, in the English language uh, also here we have a lot of different nationalities from Portugal France uh, Czech Republic etc but we all speak English so so we can you know, stay in, in, in touch for, for the for the next years and maybe we can help each other with a club or agent or connection or maybe something we do together after the career. Uh, so it's Gee. super, super important and you can create opportunities for you. So that's all for now. Thank you very much for joining myself and Thomas today. And a big thank you to Thomas for being so kind to give us his time to sit down today and to let us know a little bit more about the life of a professional footballer who has traveled throughout the world as part of his career. As I say, I'm going to post more parts of that interview over the coming weeks, so keep an eye out for those. Until next time, thanks for joining us.